welcome again. Hi there, my name's Lily, and this is my husband Stephen. How are you, honey? Awesome, thanks, honey. Oh, that's awesome. I'm great. Mm. What a beautiful morning to wake indeed, up to. Indeed. Hey, guys, welcome to our uh, uh, building relationship uh, video. <coughs> This is a week into uh, 2009, and we're bringing you this scene in the bedroom. So we'll call this, this series, uh, Bedroom Series. Or the bedroom scene. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's not porno, so uh, we're not going to go there. However, uh, today's series is really about utilizing your bedroom as one of the most... Um, important area in your house where you can build um, a great relationship with your partner in this case my wife and I do a lot of things in the bedroom not only making love but we do a lot of discussion a lot of uh, goal setting in our, in our bedroom and most people will say that your bedroom is your is your haven or your um, uh, a place of tranquility and, Tranquility. Yeah, it's a place of seclusion. It's a place where you retire into, not only for sleeping. And and mind you, sleeping is 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 not the point that I'm trying to say. It's not wrong. But most people only use their bedroom for for sleeping, getting up, out of the door, and they're gone away from the most beautiful place or surrounding where they can they can build a lot of things from. A lot of ideas can come from a bedroom. Now, one thing I will say, most most of the, 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 the recreation of life, we will probably find it's done in a bedroom. So, if we are creating life in a bedroom, what else can we create in the bedroom? Absolutely wondrous things. What do you think? Well, ideas, mm -hmm. businesses, um, create creating something new um, just anything really you set your mind to you ha, talking about dreams <laughs> see talking about dreams where do you normally dream in your bedroom I mean I would say be about 90% of people would utilize a bedroom for sleeping and of course as you sleep you come up with these fantasies Brilliant or, ideas. or dreams mm. but you know come to come to think of it that's your that's your that's your that's that's like heaven that's the place where you go and find the most important things you want in your life mm. I mean if I elaborate a little bit more come on if I go into my bedroom with my wife one thing is, one thing for sure happens. You know, we'll get into each other. Come on, that's natural. Now, going beyond that, there are a lot of things that can come from a bedroom. Mm -hmm. You know, like Lydia just said a moment ago, ideas. Such things as ideas as, what are you going to do tomorrow? Those are the simple things. As, a, as, as longevity, perhaps you look a bit more uh, towards the future, you can sit in your bedroom and just let your mind wander. It's one of the most beautiful places you can be. Bedrooms. A lot of, see, so what, why are we saying this? Is we, we do a lot of our discussions in a bedroom. Our business in, in all effects starts from a bedroom. So when we get up in the morning, we'll, 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 we'll start with a prayer. And we'll, we'll sometimes, on most occasions, we'll read the, the, holy, the holy book. The, the holy book also helps us because there's a lot of context in there that relates to today that can help you. You may not believe in a God. But I tell you what, there are a lot of things in here that you will read that actually relates to today's time. It's incredible. It was written, you know, 2,000 or 70,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. But it, it's still relatable to today's time. Now, I'm only saying that because this is what we do. We get up in the morning, we do our, our daily devotion, we read a, a holy book. Or, or we get on to other literatures that will awake us up to the morning. Now, here are some, some uh, beautiful ones that we've been reading lately. It's Beyond the Winning Streak. You know, it tells you about your conscious mind. And, of course, I've already shown you before about uh, Richard Branson, uh, a gentleman who's proven um, such amazing success in, in production, productivity on, on, on life. 
And of course, my wife just used this one just recently. All the time, actually. Oh, all the time? Yes, I use it whenever there's, um, well, like for example, my daughter had a well, toothache. Alternative cures, so natural home remedies. So, I mean, you could go to the doctors, but I'd prefer to say a prayer first, and then <laughs> that will also tell me what to do from home. So you can see a lot of things are going to happen in your bedroom. You don't, it's not just a place where you can sleep, make love into, but it's a place where you can get up refreshed and think of great things. So today, would want you to get up tomorrow morning, first thing, do something apart from getting up and getting out of the bedroom and go brushing your teeth and breakfast. Do something like getting up first thing in the morning, say your prayers if you have to, or get a book, <coughs> or it doesn't matter what it is, and just ponder on the reading of, of some, some literatures that, that probably interest you. Uh, and, and, and apart from that, after reading, just lie back and look up at the ceiling or something. Look up at the ceiling and allow your mind just to wander a little bit. Maybe dwell on what you may have dreamed of last night. Now, to make it a bit more successful for yourself, I do suggest also as one of our pointer to have a piece of paper and a pen and as you're thinking and as you're relating back to perhaps your dream record it down write it down what it, whatever that is and as you're pondering upon them your ceiling and if more ideas come write those ideas down on a piece of paper you'd be surprised how much those ideas at that moment of time in your bedroom will become a reality for you why simple because you thought of it <laughs> That's right. It's your idea. It's, it comes out of your head. Most times, we don't utilize the things that comes up here. Hmm? See, that's why the bedroom's the most beautiful place. Uh, I just, um, I just want to rephrase on that. Darling, I love my bedroom. A bedroom is a place I look forward to. Um, just you know, coming into um, in really? the evening. Yeah. In the evening. Is, is it a place? <laughs> I, I enjoy coming into into mm. the evening because mm. I know it's a, it's a sanctuary. It's a place where you just forget about everything mm. out there in the world, mm. and it's your space. It, it, it's a space where we can. Mm. It's your space, and it's your time that mm. that you can just dwell in. And, and think and create maybe new ideas for the next day or your next goals. And um, of course there's that part that can't be missed and, and I think that's what everyone else does. But my point is it is also a sanctuary where you can think, you clear your mind and it's, it's away from everything. It's away from everything running out there. And that's, and that's what I, I would like to share about my bedroom. I look forward to my bedroom every evening you know, coming into and knowing that that's the only time you can, it's like an escape from everything else. You shut everything else out. It is. Yeah. It is the most pla beautiful place where you can find a lot of things. And see, most people are looking out there for certain places where they can go and find things. Your bedroom is the best place we can find those. My wife and I agree on that. You try it. Try some of these pointers that we have pointed out to you. Get a piece of paper, and as you're pondering on the ceiling as you wake up in the morning, write down the ideas. Especially if you had a dream prior, right? Try and describe the dream. The dream, because you'd be surprised. Some of your dreams. That's what everybody else is talking about. Follow your dreams. <laughs> Where do you have your dreams in your bedrooms? So uh, take care. We love you guys keep coming back again we're going to have a lot of these beautiful series that's that's going to help you overcome a certain things certain things in your life and most of it's it's around your home we 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 are so peaceful at mm. where you are you if you utilize those those moment of times and where you are at that moment of time you'd be surprised how incredible <coughs> your life can change absolutely overnight hey guys happy new year we'll and catch you again sweet dreams love you see you then 
Bye.